California man. Now, day one. Sylvia Lopez and Mark Spiders on sports. This is Prime 9 News at 8, Southern California's most honored newscast. Time will tell you about a new club that's cultivating members from some of L.A.'s toughest neighborhoods. Next on Prime 9 News. Well, there are all sorts of theories to combat gangs in inner cities, but one man in South Central has a solution he thinks will really grow. Jim Hill has a story. Weeding out the bad from the good in Los Angeles gang-ridden neighborhoods isn't easy. But these young gang members may have found something that works. It's like being out in, in the wild or something, you know, all the green, you know, you see green at your home. 28 youngsters are part of a program that teaches them how to garden, how to turn vacant lots into green plots. Most of the teenagers come from neighborhood gangs, but they've signed pledges that they'll give up guns and take up gardens. The gardening program is run by George Singleton under a federal grant. He believes there's something about growing things that can help gang members outgrow their violent ways. This the garden itself, the nature forces. Uh, the colors, the smell, the thing of the world. It's a holistic solution to most people's consumption. Energy. Everybody has energy. And Singleton also teaches nutrition to his students. He refers to all this as creating green thumb people, the kind of people that can break down gang rivalry and fights over territory. You go in as a gardener, you can throw it up. If you go in as a gang member, you get killed. There is danger, though. Singleton says he and his students have had to hit the dirt more than once to avoid stray bullets and drive-by shootings. Singleton says he has a wing list of kids who are willing to give up the gang life and start cultivating a little plant life. Like a small seed, it's a small and a modest start. But just like a seed, there's at least a chance that the idea will grow. Jim Hill, Los Angeles. Things could dry up for the program in the future. Singleton says he's not sure where he'll get the funding for his program next year.